Qualified fish. F fish. We qualified fish. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Rodney Knockers career mode here in NASCAR Heat Dirt 2 Daytona. We are back for the next episode. Uh, this is second episode of season two. We only have $2,100, so I don't think there's a whole lot we can buy. Let's just do a race. Try to go out here and get a win and get some more money. Go on to Kingsfield Raceway. Get at least top tens. All right, so uh, Bobby Bones asked to see more of the sit-ups. So let's do what we've been doing. I've been going here, going to advanced. It For some reason, it seems like it carries from racetrack to racetrack, not like it's specifically for the racetrack that we were in. Um, so this is what stock setup is. The, the advanced setup anyway. And I will uh, go out here and run a lap. And if I make any changes, I will show you what I changed. All right. So I made two changes in practice to the setup. We made a right rear spring change. We went from 450 down to 420. Took 30 pounds out. Tightened up the car a little bit. And oh, wrong button. And on the gears, we went from a 120 fourth gear to up to a 130 fourth gear to actually bring the RPMs higher. So if you want more RPMs, you go up on the gears. If you want less RPMs, you go down on the gears. Other than that, I didn't make any changes. Like I said, I did pick the advanced setup, but I've only started picking the advanced setup once I upgraded the suspension, like purchased an upgraded suspension. And I ran a 15.9 something in practice. Get that left front tire right down there as close as you can to the burn without touching it. 15.888. Eight, eight. That is faster than what we ran in practice. <laughs> Uh-oh. E5, I do believe that is our best qualifying lap so far. From worst career <laughs> race to uh, best career qualifying so far. All right. Uh-oh. My rival so far this season, Matthew Cato, starting right in front of us on the front row. Ted Finger, there we are. We got Rich Friedman, John Rafter, Ralph Higgins, Grant McBain. I haven't raced with him much. Zach Zins and somebody else. I did not see who it was. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Oh, Matthew. Shit. Oh my god. Shh. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to the B main. We, yeah, not off to a great start here. Oh, okay, hit the wrong button, but we're starting at the very back next to Diamond Dan. I don't know why it's looking all blurry here.
All right, drove it right up through the middle of the field, quite literally. Now we just gotta hammer down and make the show. I don't know why it looks so blurry right now. Definitely gonna save it and restart this whole thing after I do this B main here. Five laps to go. No. Oh my God. See, that's why I tighten the car up is because it likes to get way sideways and then when you try to catch the slide it'll actually snap back to the right so I'm trying not to slide too much get down there on that damn berm because it will murder you. Nice work, kid. All right, but we're in. That's all that matters. We made it. All right, so we made it to the A main after an eventful heat race uh, that did not go our way. All right, let's... Uh, I'm going to make one more setup adjustment here. And I'm going to go lefty loosey righty tidy. So up on the wedge, a few clicks. I haven't changed anything other than what I told you before, where I took some out of the right rear spring and we changed fourth gear up to a 130 gear. All right. Starting on the front row, we got Eric Truitt, Josh Ginter, Mark Hunter, Rich Friedman. Alan Anderson, Matthew frickin' Cato, editor-in-chief over here. Uh, we got Joe Fazzoli. I didn't see Mr. Bean anywhere, which is interesting. I think that's old Diamond Dan. Yeah, Diamond Dan behind us. I'm rooting for that guy. Oh my god. Okay, John. You're going to be next on the list after Matthew Cato. We didn't actually spin. Wow. I'm running dead last, though. Oh, my God. Ten laps to go. Come on, man. It's like you have to run the bottom to be fast around here. And these guys just park it right where you can't get around them. That was a great lap. Mr. Anderson, I need you to piss off. All right, we're in 10th, so hopefully we can still be in the running for our sponsor bonus at the end of the year.
think we can miss the top 10 twice because I did Five laps to go. six episodes for season one. Well, no. Yeah, no, there was only five episodes for season one. Send it around the outside like two trailer park girls. Two to go. All right, I will call P6 a great recovery after a terrible heat race and a terrible start to this race. As long as we can keep P6 here, we'll be fine. Last lap. We're going to have to pay some money for that blown motor so I don't know how much money we'll actually make for this weekend but we'll freaking see well, alright we were the on the move award winner 11th to 6th alright so picked up another 61 points for finishing 6th we are consistent, by God. All right, let's go see how much money we made and what the newspaper says. Yeah, we didn't make as much as we could have, but still $1,100 after. That's not bad. What a race. Kingsfield. Matthew Cato's exciting victory at Kingsfield was an enjoyable grandstand experience. The weather was comfortable, and fortunately for everybody in attendance, the mosquitoes stayed at home. Most of the fans in attendance wanted to talk about knockers. Can't believe Matthew Cato went on to win that freaking race. Qualified fish. F fish. We qualified fish. <laughs> qualified fifth and finished sixth. And we're eighth in the points. Right behind Joe Fazzoli. And four positions behind Matthew Cato, who has a win. Put that sponsor anywhere because. Even though there's a bunch of room left on the car, you can't actually can't actually put sponsors in those places. Got thirty three hundred dollars. Let's go see if we can buy anything. I don't think we can get a better engine for thirty three. Yeah, no. We need in grand to get the best big block. Uh, what do we have now? We have that now. Five grand, which is actually a decent upgrade for the next suspension. Upgrade arrow, we have this one. $7,300. dollars and exhaust sixty three hundred dollars. All right, so we got some, we got a good ways to go before we can afford the next decent upgrade. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do another race here. Do a couple of races this episode. Where are we going? Oh, Anoka, my second least favorite track on the calendar. All right, uh, welcome back to Anoka Speedway. Now, for the setup here, all I did was load the advanced setup and I went out and ran a couple of laps. I'm going to tighten it up half a percent and I'm going to go up three clicks on fourth gear, which might actually be too much. I'm going to go back out here and do another practice lap and see if it revs out. I did a couple more practice laps. The gearing is good. I'm actually gonna go over here and I'm going to take out. Oh, nope. Going to, I'm gonna take, oh my God. I'm gonna take out a couple of pounds 
in the right rear spring just to try to tighten it up a little bit more other than that car felt good the gearing was money we were just barely getting into the red line in some of the corners so we'll go out here and get us a qualifying lap in i ran a 17 uh 45 no 17 245 in practice which the game claims that's two tenths off of my best lap ever here and i don't know how that's even possible Seventeen one twenty. That's a tenth and a half faster. No, it's one point two faster than I qualify or ran in practice. P seven, decent lap. Gonna go to heat number one. All right, Joe and Matthew Cato, editor in chief. We're starting on the outside, road number two. There's Grant McBain again, racing with him for the second time in this episode. Mr. Bean and Ted Finger. All right. Let's see if we can beat Matthew Cato here. Oh my God. Hit the wrong. I keep pulling the trigger thinking it's the damn brake. You'd think I'd learn by now that that is not the brake. Although we're having a hell of a battle with Matthew right now. A lot of the dirt tracks in this game you can run wide open, but this one. I find it really helps the car to rotate if you just like tap the brake off the gas tap the brake back on the gas to get the car to rotate going into the corner Last lap. oh no matthew sent it down in there and drove into my door He is not going to make the top five in this race. He will have to go to the B main to get in. Woo. Where did he end up? Did he end up in 10th? 22 seconds behind. All right. So we're going to the A main and Mr. Cato has some work to do to get to the A main himself. Not going to make any setup changes. The car is handling pretty good there. Oh, we're starting on the front row for the A main. I didn't think about that. Josh Ginter and Rodney Knocker starting on the front row. We have Mark Hunter, Ted Finger in row number two. We got Alan Anderson and Eric Truitt in row number three. David Brandt and Jeff Fulton in row number four. Peter Hinkey, John Bean in row number five. Ansley Campbell, Joe Fazzoli in row number six. And bringing up the rear is Diamond Dan. Matthew Cato did not make the big show. It's that the race is going green. There's the green flag. Ted's gonna finger it right on down in there. Ten laps to go. And Eric Truitt is shot out of a rocket ship. Oh, oh, oh.
Hey, sorry, Mark. I had to chop your nose off there. Seventeen to zero, so apparently the game wasn't lying. Got to really dry it, like. I just don't don't really understand this track still. It's like you. Oh my god! You want to be driving straight coming up off the corner, but to do that, you have to slow down. I have to slow down too much getting into the corner. Whoever that was spun themselves out making a dive bomb move even though they were going 90 miles an hour. Oh! Okay, that wasn't for position. I was stealing P3, that was just some people that got collected in the spin from a minute ago. Here go. I think Diamond Dan was involved in that. Root for that guy, which... Wish good things upon him. Eric Truitt is out to a six second lead. That's insane, man. Last lap. He drove by me like I was sitting still. All right, P3. Nice work, kid. Podium finish to make up for our first career race last episode. All right, P3 got 82 points. So, uh, yeah, Diamond Dan finished two laps down. Josh Ginter was the guy that dive bombed us there. At least I feel like he dive bombed us. Y'all might disagree in the comments. Let me know down below if you think that was a dive bomb or if I cut him off. Oh, $2,400 for the weekend. What a race. With Eric Tritt's victory at Anoka, Rodney Knockers is back in fifth place and 81 points out of first in order to make a run of the championship. Knockers first has to deal with Matthew Cato, who is ahead by 26 points. And surely John Rafter trailing Knockers in the standings by two. So the rivalry with Mr. Cato intensifies. Got us our first top five of the season. Matthew Cato is the next person in front of us. John Rafter is two points behind us, like it said. We have a decent gap over Fazoli in seventh. So here's to hoping we can make a run on Matthew Cato. Oh, win a race for $1,000, buddy. I, if I could put you on the car, I would, but it only gives me these three spots. So sorry about you. We do have $5,700. We're getting pretty close to the next upgrade, though, but that'll have to come in the next episode because that's it for this one. We'll see you next time to continue Season 2 of Roddy Knocker's Career Mode here in NASCAR Heat Dirt to Daytona. If you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe to all the YouTube stuff if you want to do that. If you want to see more, appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Peace.